the Atlanta County Board of Elections counted provisional ballots into the early morning hours and started again this afternoon. One of the races at stake, the Atlantic City Mayor's Office. Democratic incumbent Lorenzo Langford faced Republican Don Guardian. Guardian told NJTV News he's still waiting for official results, but is confident he's the clear winner. We're happy to. We're happy to have the first elected Republican mayor in Atlantic City in almost three decades. It's really a historic result and I think put somebody in charge of Atlantic City uh, who has the experience to lead the town. Well, it appears that uh, uh, Guardian uh, did prevail. Um, we started yesterday uh, with the mayor uh, Langford down about 200 and uh, 70 votes and um, he really didn't diminish that gap uh, during the course of the evening last night. So, you know, again, we're, we're going to, when the final results are in, we'll take a look at it and decide if there's any uh, point in uh, revisiting this or challenging it. When you have a town that has a 12 to 1 Democrat to Republican voter registration and they've embraced uh, a Republican in Don Guardian, I think shows that there's a real thirst for change. We reached out to Mayor Langford's office today for an interview. Our calls were not returned. The Atlantic City mayor's race was not only tight, but heated. Meeting was scheduled for Friday to begin counting uh, provisional ballots, and uh, we were made aware the evening before that the Republicans were not going to be available. There were some things that went on in Atlantic City over the weekend in which uh, quote unquote investigators uh, visited uh, the homes of people who had cast provi uh, you know, provisional ballots. Uh, that of course caused some concern. They went into a minority community and asked a bunch of questions, but uh, uh, did not do the same in, in suburban uh, towns. Did that happen? What's your reaction to that? Well, first of all, all the provisional ballots were not inventoried until I believe seven o'clock on Friday night. So any suggestion that the board could have met on Friday, uh, frankly, has no basis in fact. Um, were people, uh, were voter registration rolls checked to make sure those who cast provisional ballots uh, are lawful registered voters here in Atlantic County? They were. Uh, no one town was uh, targeted over another. Last night, Assemblyman John Amadeo's lead over Northfield Mayor Vince Mazio narrowed. To say the least, I've been on edge a little bit this week, and, uh, you know, when the election finished up on uh, November 5th, I thought it was over. John Amadeo has a long-standing record here in Atlantic County. Um, I think at the time that all the votes are going to be counted here, I think John Amadeo is going to be going to prevail. Meantime, Don Guardian says he's putting together a transition team, planning meetings with the city council and casino executives. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.